The Simple Pong and Python 3 for Beginners Part 3. Let's take a look at what we have so far. Okay, so we've got our Pong window, we've got our Paddle A on the left, Paddle B on the right, and we've got our ball in the middle. So in this lesson, we're going to learn how to move the paddles uh, using the keyboard. Okay, so what we need to do uh, is to basically, we're going to create some functions. Okay, and if you haven't uh, ever used functions before, uh, a function is basically kind of a piece of a program that does a something that's been defined for it. So, uh, so in this case, we want to move paddle A up, we want to move paddle A down, we want to move paddle B up, we want to move paddle B down. Okay, so to use functions, you first need to define your function, and I'm going to call this first function paddle A up. Okay, if you recall in the last video. Um, I talked about doing one function at a time or one piece at a time, getting that working perfectly, and then you can copy and just make the necessary changes. So that's what we're going to do here. Okay, so paddle A up. So to move the paddle, um, what I need to do is I need to know the current Y coordinate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say Y equals paddle A dot Y core. Okay. Now this part here, paddle A is the name of the object. We, we created it here. We called it paddle A. And the dot y core method is from the turtle module. Okay, and what that does is it returns the y coordinate. And so we're just assigning that value to a variable called y, which makes sense. Okay, um, so we've defined the function using the def keyword. And you notice we have a, I guess it's a tab in this case. Well, I mean, it's, it's a space, we'll see. Uh, might get an error there. And I'll explain that in a second if we do. And it's supposed to be set to automatically change the spaces, but I think it's not set that way, so I'll leave it the way it is. So then what I want to do, if I'm going to go up on the screen, it's this way, so up. So Y increases as we go up, it decreases as we go down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 20 to Y. And this is the way you do that. You say Y plus equals 20. So that will add 20 pixels to the Y coordinate. So now notice we've just calculated the y. So then what we actually have to do is paddle a set y to the new y. Okay. So now having a function doesn't actually do anything until we call the function. So the function has just been defined, but we're not using it. So what we need to do is we need to do something called a keyboard binding. Okay, so in the turtle module, we need to do WN, so that was our window, and listen. This tells it to listen for keyboard input. Okay. And then we're going to use the onKeyPress method. Okay, and watch what I do here. Paddle A up, W. Okay, so let me explain what that does. So this line here, it tells the, the program to listen for keyboard input. This line here says, when the user presses W, notice that's a lowercase w, um, so if you have caps lock on, it won't work, call the function paddle A up. Okay, here's our function, paddle A up. Paddle A up says, get the Y coordinate, add 20 to the Y coordinate, and then actually set the Y of the paddle to the new Y coordinate. Okay, so let's test that and see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to hit the W key. Okay, so you can see how it is moving up. Okay, and we actually move it off the screen. Okay, so now that we've gotten that working, okay, what I can do is I can copy that. Okay, and I'm going to, and I'm going to change this to paddle A down. So instead of adding 20, I'm going to subtract 20. And then I need to do a key binding for that as well. So I'm just going to copy and paste that. So it's going to be paddle A down. And in this case, I'm going to use the S key. You can use whatever key you want, uh, but the, I've just chosen those. Because usually it's W, A, S, D on the left, and the arrow keys on the right. So again, I've done one thing. I've changed it. Now I'm going to test it. Okay, so W, S. Okay, so everything's working exactly as expected. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is, now that I've got both of those working, 
I'm going to copy it and I'm going to do paddle B, paddle B, paddle B. So if you keep your naming consistent, it makes it very, very easy to do what I'm doing, which is to be lazy and just use copy and paste. Okay, and then here, now for paddle B, I'm going to use the arrow keys. And then for the up arrow, it's, it's a little bit different. You use up, notice it's capitalized, and down is the down arrow. Okay, so again, I made a couple changes. I'm going to test my code. Okay, so WS on the left, up and down on the right. And voila, there you have it. Okay, stay tuned. Next, next lesson, we're going to get that ball moving.